Welcome back to Morrowind Monday. I'm Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'll be your host for this episode. <clears throat> Sorry, and for those of you who are on Twitch, of course, I am also the host of this stream. Remember, you heard me clearing my throat. Remember to stay hydrated, folks. So if you don't have anything to drink already, fetch something. I need to remember not to touch the microphone, which might produce weird noises for you, but drinking is important and as you can see even though we're facing away from him we are standing right in front of Andrin Lothan in the um, high fane of the Vivek temple <clears throat> because we've been told a little birdie told us that um, we might find some quests here we want to do more duties for the temple because um, well one of the things is we want to become a priest of course and I should set start the recording timer. There we go. Now I'm going to be notified when this episode is over by a vibrating wristwatch. Um, so uh, we not just want to uh, become a good citizen of Morrowind, which of course means we join the temple cult and learn about their ways, but also we want to become a good mage, a strong, powerful mage, which means we should also do some council duties as well. But let's check first what he has for us with his, with his wrinkled face. Hello Endrin, Lelethan, what do you have for us? What brings you to the temple, layman? Have you been lax in your duties? I wonder how this voice actor does this voice for, uh, for them. A holy woman here in Vivek is spreading the divine disease to others. Someone must convince Tanuis, Tanusea Veloth to leave Vivek City. Well, that actually sounds pretty simple. We just need to convince someone to leave. But what's the divine disease, I wonder? Well, we're going to try to convince her to leave Vivek City. Tanusei Alvelov is a holy pilgrim and well-loved by the people. Do not kill her unless there is no other way. Try and convince her to go to the Coprosarium before she spreads the divine disease to others. She's very devout and would be most easily impressed by some show, show of her devotion to the temple's teachings. Okay, a show of devotion to the temple's teachings. This sounds... Well, one, one of the teachings is compassion. Okay, she, he, he does not have anything to help us with. Well, we should be on our way then. How about we are collecting a blessing on our way? There are lots of saints to choose from. What is this about? Well, let's choose Saint Nerevar. A donation of five and receive a blessing. The spirit of Nerevar, which gives us... 20 points of... Spirit of Nerevar. For our 45 fatigue. Um, I completely... <laughs> I completely messed that one up. 45 fatigue, 20 points for about an hour-ish. Well, that's awesome because that means the green bar won't decrease as fast. Well, they are here in Vivek City. Let me check the journal. So she is pretty much liked, so we should be able to ask around for her, shouldn't we? So let's see if she's a pilgrim, then I suspect we can actually ask in the temple. Or at least in the temple district. Let's see if there's someone here. Oh yes, remember that palace thing back there with the... Um, Sorry, with the um, puzzle canal. Hall of Justice. I don't think that this is where we should go. I just wanted to see if there's someone to ask here. Is someone there in this tunnel? No. Just let's check the other side. Because I guess if there is a very holy person around, they would most likely be just here in the temple district. Let's ask an ordinator. Um... Have you heard of Tenusia well of uh, good sir? She's over at the arena. She is corporous. 
Don't go near her. Oh, the divine disease is the corpus disease. Okay. Okay, this is why she should go to the corpusarium. That makes sense. Okay, the arena. See, this is what you do if you don't have any map markers. You just ask people. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check the, um, the video by H. Bomber guy where he said that they broke the Elder Scrolls with the fourth part by including this is Saint Ohms by including the map markers, or rather the map marker compass that is. Because basically, while doing so, you only follow the compass needle instead of actually exploring the area. So the arena. If the arena is not the part that we're actually looking at, I will take the boat, which is over there. And I was a bit, a bit stupid because I think I can check the signs. I can actually, like when I'm close enough, I should be able to... No. Ah, these, these triangle things should tell me where I am. I don't need to go upstairs to do so. So this is the arena. Perfect. So let's head upstairs and go inside and check. We're not going to participate in the fights. We're not a barbarian of some sorts. Maybe when we're a powerful wizard, we can test our strength by beating the arena. But I just want to find that person. And here is Alvura Othranim. Hello, Alvura. Have you heard about... No, you have not heard about I can't even ask you if you heard about him. Have you heard? No. I'm looking for someone. Like yeah, but they don't show up here. So basically, so yes. What, do you what you're doing is going around, looking if you find someone. Kind of works. Fighters quarters. I'm not a fighter, so I'm not. I'm most probably not eligible to go into the fighters quarters. Holding cells. Can we go in there? Looks like it. Okay, there's the ordinators, obviously. What is it, citizen? Okay, this is the yeah, cell. I'm sorry, the cell key. Oh, no weakness or fault. There is nobody being held right now. What is it, citizen? I'm just looking for someone. Anytime you're ready. Let's try and head one more flight upstairs. So we're at the upstairs of the arena. And if we go around here by 90 degrees, we should go the or should be able to go to the top of the arena. Which should be where the spectators go if I don't if I remember correctly. It's been a long time. Oh that's the pit, yeah, it's the so that's Wilvin Rathram, I haven't much time. And he seems to have heard of Tenusia Welloth. What can you tell me about that person? She's right over there. Oh, thank you very much. Um, should have actually said that in his voice, but um, yeah, as you noticed, I'm struggling with their voices. That's Moroso Baron, that's not her. Okay. So, this is her. Count your blessings. Well, let us see what can we do to have an advice. No. So how can we show her? Let me do real quick a save because um, it could be that we fail the quest if we try convincing her now. So we try asking her to leave Vivek City. Oh, that's easy. We quote from Sarioni's sermons. <sighs> Enough. You do not need to quote from your copy of Sarioni's sermons. I will do as you ask and go to the Corpusarium. That was an easy one. Honestly. Okay, now let's head back. My time is precious, so make it quick. Okay, I don't have anything to say to you anyway. So this is where we would f be fighting if we would be fighting in the arena.
but we should instead be studying books. Okay, we want to be going southward because the temple is in the south of Quebec. What is it? And also, um, the question is if we find a bed there because we should sleep to restore our magicka and um, life force. We need to head downstairs. Uh, yes, I just want to, you know, go to the lower, lower level. Well, let's try and um, let's see if we can do so by exercising our jumping skill, or rather falling skill. Let's drop a quick save and then just fall down one level which does do lots of damage but does not kill us um, the reason why I'm doing this is because this trains the athletic no the acrobatic skill this progress towards skill increase goes higher when you whenever you jump and when you fall down somewhere so we broke nearly all of our bones, but uh, we are training to not break our bones in the future. I mean, it's, it is, now I'm pressing the wrong button, it is pr pretty hard for a cat to do the falling on their toes things, on their um, paws things, while they're being um, Speak your name. wearing these clothes. I should, I now notice I can't concentrate on the game and on talking at the same time, so I should be talking the when I ingredients in town. I should be not talking when I need to concentrate. I need to find the person again. No. I'm listening. No. Go ahead. For enchantments. Was it him? Speak yes, your need. It was him, so we actually were there in the first place when we entered. Did you convince Tennessee Avelov to leave Vivek City? Yeah, yeah, she left. We just had to um, recite some of the verses from the holy books. I'm glad you were able to convince Tenesia Veloth to leave. She'll be cared for in the corpusarium and will no longer spread the disease. Since you may be exposed to a blight disease, please take these potions. Are you ready for further duties? Well, this is a temple, so yeah. To prove that you have patience and wisdom, you must make the pilgrimage to the Sanctus Shrine. Okay, where is the said Sanctus Shrine? To make the pilgrimage, you, I must swear you to silence. If you speak with anyone before reaching the shrine, you will have broken your vow. Before you are sworn to silence, you may wish to purchase some potions of levitation or water walking. There is no easy way to get to the Sanctus Shrine in Dagon Fell, and the waters can be dangerous. Tell me when you're ready and take the vow of silence. Let's wait first. Let's check. I'm always pressing tab. Um, so I know we can levitate, and I'm pretty sure we can. Yes, we also can water walk for 120 seconds even. Okay, so this is okay. How about the healing spell that we have? Okay. So we should just go and sleep somewhere. This door is locked. Since we are a member of the temple, we should be able to sleep in temple beds as they are part of our faction, but we need to check if there is no bed in here. No bed in... Well, doesn't matter that much. So to go to Dagenfell, if we can't talk to anyone, going to Dagenfell is quite a journey because it's up here. And we can't take a silt strider, we can't take a boat, so we actually have to walk all the way up here. So basically, we're in for a long walk. Oh my god. This is going to be something. Let's try. 
Let's try this. What can go wrong, right? The worst thing that can happen is that we break our um, vow of silence and then we need to um, redo everything. <clears throat> so I may not speak again. <clears throat> the shrine is on an island west of Shiogorad. Look for a shack with a trial beside it. I will mark it on your map. Is there something you That's need? good. This is where the shrine is. Okay. So I was thinking of actually walking up to Margan because we, we know this route. And then heading... Because we, we're not going to meet someone there that we need to talk to. And then heading off to the Sanctus Shrine. So, for those on YouTube, I think I will actually do this as a bit of a time lapse. And when this episode ends, we will be in Margan. And the new content, everything that we discover new, will be <coughs> visible for you. Oh, I should have stopped and said, yeah, so it will be visible for you. And so, folks on YouTube, we see each other in Margan. People on Twitch, you stay with me, right? <laughs>so this is our first stop on our quest to Dagenfell, or rather to the shrine. We are at the ghost gate because we have contracted a little disease and we're going to use the shrine to heal it. Let's just get a blessing, cure disease. Oh, then it's cure blight. There we go. And onwards towards Dagenfell it is.
And as you can see, we also gained a level on our journey. I'm going to choose the willpower because we get four points. We... Intelligence because of maximum amount of magicka. Shouldn't there be a second thing that affects magicka? No, it does not. Then I think strength because we can carry more. Thank you very much. We're now at level 9. And as you can see, we also are a little bit lost, but we will be back on our way in no time. Well, as you can see, we are here in Aldruin, which is the next step of our journey to Dagenfell. We will be heading over to Bal Isra and Margan. I wanted to move the map, and I've played too much The Sims to Bal Isra and Margan. Or even, even I guess, even Cool. Yeah, I think we'll be heading off to Cool and then taking the route over the water. To avoid meeting someone. Yep, yep, yep. So, we will be seeing each other again in cool. Here we are, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. We are in Cool. We are at the coastline. So the next part we'll be walking along the coastline and then across the water at some point in time. I'm going to time lapse this part too because it will be pretty boring. So the time lapsed episode part will be a bit longer as not to bore you out. So, see you over at the Sanctus Shrine.
shrine and here we are. Well, this is not yet the shrine, but I decided to head over to this island and next episode we're going to discover something that's on our way. You also missed, we did not enter the place, we just walked past it. It's Ashurna Biteshpi, as the Adric shrine that we saw on our route to Kool. Also over here there is a weird little ship that we have not entered and discovered. We will need to do that at some point in time too. I know I was in there. I don't know if it was with a different save game or if it was before I switched to OpenMW. So if you've seen it or not, we will discover the stuff in there anyway. So I'm already apologizing in advance if this is double content. Sorry for that. But for now, bye bye until next Morrowind Monday. You're 90.